know that I'm done with evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm tired, but I still <laughs> Okay, how was your day? Did you have a busy day today? Uh, yes, I have a busy day today. Really, really, really busy. Okay. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, right? So don't worry. The weekend uh, is near. The weekend is coming. <laughs> Good evening. Hello, Good evening. Carla. Good evening. Hi, Carla. How are you? Fine, teacher. Nice. Did you have a busy day today? Um, I'm more or less. <laughs> oh, okay. It no, was too busy today. It wasn't too busy. Hello, Lisa. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Thank you. Okay, Lisette, nice. Hello, Carlos, nice. good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, Carlos? I am so tired. Uh, today was a busy day too. Did you have a busy day? No, I, I, I went to work every all day. I went to work all day. Okay, you worked the whole day. Yes. Okay, Carlos. So let's start with the class. Do you have any question about the section number four on the platform? Do you have any question about the the problems or the exercises on the platform? No, section four, section five. No. No, no question, no problem. Excellent then. Oh. So who is working in section Finish. five? Finish. Okay, excellent. Is that? Finish. I have already finished that section. I, Congratulations. I almost finished that section five. Ah, okay, you are almost to finish the second part. That is excellent. And let me ask a question. Can can you already can you already see your diploma? Alguien ya pudo ver su diploma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. You said yes, yes. Carmen. Yes. Veronica, what about you? Yes. No. No yet. And you, Carlos. No, I, I, I'm going to start section five. Ah, okay, that section is missing for you. Hello, Janet, good evening, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Well, if there are no questions about the platform, we are going to start with today's topic. Do you agree? Do you agree? Yes, okay. Excellent. Okay, the day before yesterday, and yesterday we have been studying the simple past tense, uh, regular and also irregular verbs. Do you have any questions regarding those topics? Yes, teacher. 
No questions. Okay, today we are going to study the simple past of a particular bird, which is the bird to be. Vamos a estudiar el simple past tense with the bird be today. So let's go to this. Okay, let me know, please, if you can see my screen. I see. Yes, okay, thank you. So, a simple pass with the bird to be. That is the topic for today. Welcome to class number 12. This is our 12 online session. And we're going to start in this part. The bird. The verb to be in simple past tense has two forms. Tiene dos formas, they are, was, and were. El verbo to be, ¿qué significa in Spanish? Cero, cero estar. Cero estar. Cero estar. En presente tiene tres formas. ¿Cuáles son? Do you remember them? Which are the three forms in the present tense of the verb be? Estar, estuvo, estuvieron. Tiene tres formas en presente simple. When you say I am, I am angry. You are, you are angry. She is angry. El verbo to be en presente tiene tres formas que es am. Yes, and also, ah. and, all, and also are. In past tense, it has just two forms. Solo tiene dos formas, was and were. So how we are going to make sentences using the simple past tense of this verb? Look at this example. I was happy. He was hungry. She was a nurse. It was a big dog. So with these pronouns, with this subject pronoun, we are going to use was. I was, he was, she was, it was. Okay, then we were early, you were at the school, they were quiet. We are going to use where with these subject pronouns. We, we were, you were, and they were. So we were early, you were at the school, they were quiet. To make a sentence, we are going to need a subject, the correct past form of the verb be, plus a complement. That is the structure of the affirmative sentences using the verb to be in past tense. So I was, he was, she was, it was. We were, you were, they were. Si quiere hacer oraciones negativas, negative statements or negative sentences, we are going to use wasn't, I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't. I wasn't sad. He wasn't hungry. She wasn't a nurse. It wasn't a big dog. It wasn't a big dog. Then let's see, we weren't early. In the caso de los pronombres, we, you and they, vamos a utilizar weren't. We weren't early. You weren't at school. They weren't quiet. The contraction wasn't is the same as was not. And weren't, were not. Do you have any question in this part? There is a question? No. No. 
No question. Okay, perfect. Um, there is a mistake in one of these sentences, which is, which is the mistake? Which is the mistake? Can you tell me? Hay un error en una de estas oraciones. ¿Quién lo vio? ¿Quién lo descubrió? It wasn't intentional. Right? No fue intentional. But it's the mistake and it's in the sentence. It was a big ad hoc. So, este artículo está de más. It was a big dog. It was a big dog. It wasn't a big dog. So let's go with this question with verb in simple past tense. To create equation with to be, you put the verb before the subject. That's easy. I have here an affirmative sentences. You were happy. We need that subject and the verb to be in past tense. To make a question, we are going to change the position of the verb and we are going to write the verb at the beginning, at the beginning of the sentence. Were you happy? Were you happy? Then the past form of the to, of the verb to be is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. And we add the question mark to agregamos el signo de pregunta and we have a question. Were you happy? Verb, subject, and complement. So we are going to make the question in this way. Let's read the following examples. Uh, can you tell me, please, two volunteers, please, in this part? I need two volunteers who want to participate. Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. Evelyn and Evelyn and any other volunteer? Thank you. Well, Evelyn, you are going to read this, the affirmative sentence. And Renberto, right? Yes. Okay, and Renberto, you are going to read the question. So you can start. Okay, I was late. Was I late? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? Surprised. She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? It was a big house. Was it a big house? We were ready. Were we ready? You were early. Were you early? They were bossy. Were they bossy? Thank you very much. That's great. a great job. Thank you. Yes, let's see this word. How do you pronounce this word? Can you help me? How do you pronounce this? Surprise. 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 Okay, excellent. How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce easy. this word? Easy. It's busy, right? It's busy. Thank you, Yanet. Thank you, Roberto. You did a great job. So you can see in this example the affirmative sentence and the question I was late. Was I late? You were sick. Were you sick? He was surprised. Was he surprised? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? And so on, right? Affirmative and question. But how we are going to answer this question? So we are going to see that in the next slide. Just a second. It is. I have here the question and the possible answer. These are yes, no questions. So in the first one, was I late? Estuve tarde, llegué tarde. Then you say, yes, you were. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Those are the possible answers. Were you sick? 
Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. What's she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were you early? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Were they busy? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. So let me ask you this question. Was you late today? At your work? Were you late today at work? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay. Yes, I was. Yes, yes, I was. Okay. Were you sick? Were you sick last week? Were you sick last week? Yes, I was. No, yes, I was. I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, uh, let's see. Were you ready? Were you ready to work today? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. Okay, were you early at home today? Were you early at home today? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, excellent. Were you busy today? Were you busy? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Were you busy today? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Okay, nice. That, that is the correct answer. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Let's see this conversation. We are going to read this conversation. We are going to listen. We are going to listen to this conversation. Vamos a ver esa conversación. Está en la plataforma. So we are going to listen. Pay attention to the pronunciation of the to be, the to be very in past tense. So here we go. So, Okay, here is the video. Born, Melissa. I was born in Korea. Okay. Pudieron escuchar? Let me know if you can listen. Sí. Yes. Okay, here we go. Korea. Yeah. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on listen this chart. Again. Listen again. Born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take... Okay, any new vocabulary here in this part? A word that you don't know, a word or a phrase that you don't know? No, teacher. 
No, not really. No, what, is, what is the meaning of right away? Did you go to college right away? Okay, inmediatamente. Excellent. So then I have some question for you. Where was she born? Where was she born? Where was I'm Melissa born? born? She I'm born in Korea. Oh, she was born in Korea. And was she young when she came to the US? She was 17 she was. years old. She was. Oh, yes, she was. She was 17 years old. Did she go to the college right away? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She took English class for two years first. Okay, was, was her English good? Yes, she was. Was her English good? Yes, no, she, was. she wasn't. Oh, she in... took class for two years first. Ah, okay, excellent. But in this question, was her English good? We are talking about English, right? Then the, the subject pronoun is it. So was her English good? No, it wasn't. Okay, no, it wasn't. That is the correct answer. Thank you very much. No, it wasn't. Okay, then let's practice this conversation. To volunteer to practice this conversation, who wants to participate? Nobody wants. Hey, me. With that? Them. Thank you. Carlos N. Me. Okay, you can start. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1990. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Thank you very much. Excellent job. How do you pronounce this number? The number is uh, 1999. Oh, 1999, but 90 is 90. Uh, 19. Yes. 1999. Okay, excellent. Nine. Excellent. Okay, thank you. So let's come back to the presentation. Just a second. Excellent job. Thank you. Uh, Janet, do you have any question? No question, teacher. And let's see. Veronica, do you have any question? No, teacher. Ah, okay, I can see your hand up. Okay. It's for participants for the following. Ah, okay. So, Janet, do you want to participate in this conversation? No, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. No problem, no problem. So, let's come back. Today, we're going to practice a lot of conversation, right? Um, using the verb be in simple past. So, let's continue with this. So you say you don't have question about this one. Can you see my screen? Let me know, please. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's see. 
We have these examples taken from the conversation. So I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Yo nací en Korea. This is an expression. I was born in Korea. So where were you born? Where were you born? ¿Dónde nacieron ustedes? I was born I was in Salvador. Born in Okay, excellent. I was born in El Salvador. And then you were pretty young. You were pretty young. Tú estabas muy joven, ¿verdad? You were pretty young. She was 17. We were born in the same year. We were born in the same year. They were in Korea in 1998. Ellos estaban en Corea, ¿verdad? Todavía en 1998. They came to the U.S. at 1999. And these are some examples of affirmative sentences. Affirmative Teacher. sentences. Yes? Uh, we were born in the same year. Uh, ¿Cómo se traduciría? We, ah, we were born in the same year. Nosotros nacimos en el, mismo, en el mismo año, in the same year, en el mismo año. Ok. Then affirmative sentences, right? They are affirmative sentences. And these are examples of negative sentences. I wasn't born in the U.S. You weren't very old. She wasn't in college. We weren't born in the same country. They were in, in the U.S. in 1998. So negative sentences. Yo no nací en los Estados Unidos. I wasn't born in the U.S., in the United States. You weren't very old. Tú no eras viejo. She wasn't in college. Ella no estaba en la universidad. We weren't born in the same country. Nosotros no nacimos en el mismo país. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Ellos no estaban en los Estados Unidos in, in this year, in this year, in 1998. So again, right? wasn't is the contraction of was not and weren't is the contraction of were not. And I have here some, some conversation for you to practice. This is conversation number one. And it says, how was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. So it pricing good. So two volunteers, do you have any question about this? Sure. How the many surprisingly? Uh, <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> what is the meaning of? Sorry, for surprisingly. Uh, this word, sorprendentemente. Sorprendentemente. Okay. Is the meaning for the crowded? Crowded. Uh, lleno. Lleno de personas. Lleno. Crowded. Lleno. Yeah. Que está lleno de personas. So what is the conversation about? What is this conversation about? Can you tell me? About the cinema. Okay. It's about a cinema. Who went, um, who went to the cinema, the man or the woman? The woman. The woman. Okay. She was at the cinema, okay? She was at the cinema. So any other word? Scary, what's the meaning of scary, for example? Miedo. Miedo. Miedo, okay. Uh, to volunteer to practice this conversation. How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. To volunteer, who wants to practice at this time? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla. And me, teacher. Thank you. So, Carla, can you start? How was the movie? It was really good. What's scary? 
Yes, it was really scary. Nice. What? Nice. What is crowding? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there. So surprisingly. Okay. Thank you. Excellent job. Can you please say again this word? Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Ah, surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly. Surprisingly. Thank you. Let's see the next. Let's see the next conversation. Conversation number two. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really, I was there. What is this conversation about? About see the woman at the shop and uh, really it was what work? What was, was working? Okay, the who was working? Who was at the shop? The woman is working. The, the woman. Man. Okay, then let's see. The woman worked in a shop. Then the man went to the shop and he didn't find her. He didn't find her. And he yes. is telling, where were you? ¿Dónde estuviste? Okay, me suena que es una conversación de parejas. Where were you last night? ¿Dónde sí. estuvo la noche anterior? Estaba reclamándole, teacher. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, where were you last night? ¿Dónde estuviste la noche anterior? I was at work, she said. Yo estaba en el trabajo. Really? ¿De verdad? I was at your shop. Yo estuve en tu tienda. And you weren't there. Y tú no estabas ahí. Sí. No, I was in the back working. Yo estaba en la parte de... What is back? Atrás. 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 Trabajando. You were? Really? I was there. ¿De verdad estás dudando? Yo estaba ahí. <laughs> that is the meaning of that. Really? Era I una conversación there. tóxica, teacher. Ah, oh, más o menos así. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, el pan de cada día de los que estamos casados. So, let's see. No, Who teacher. Was... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, who wants to practice this conversation? You volunteer, please. Who wants to practice? If no, I'm going to pick someone. Nobody wants to practice tonight. Come on, tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday, so practice today. Mañana ni se van a acordar de la clase. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. I'm pretty sure. Who wants to participate? You can do it, guys. Help me with this. Uh, Jose me? Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn and Evelyn and I want to participate. Thank you. Can you please start Evelyn and después Carlos, right? Okay. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at the shop. You weren't there? No, I was in the back working. You were? Really? I was there. Okay, thank you very much. Now, can you please answer this question with your information? Where were you last night? I was in my house. Oh, okay. I, was at, I, I was at home. I was at home. I was at work. I was at work. I was, I was at work. I and I came for my house very late. <laughs> okay, I arrived to my house very late. I arrived. 
Okay. okay. What time did you arrive to your house? I arrived at 7.50 p.m. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your answer. That is a nice answer. So let's go with the next. Let's practice in the next conversation. Conversation number three today. Uh, how was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah. What was your score? Let's just say it, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So any new vocabulary in this conversation? And what is the conversation about? What is this conversation about? Exam. Oh, it is about, about an exam. About the exam. About a test, yes. Either. Either, the last word, either. either. What is the meaning of either? In this case, either sería tampoco. And it says the whole phrase, let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. No fue grandioso, pero tampoco fue malo. So either tampoco, in this case. But it wasn't bad, pero tampoco fue mal. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So now, cuando usted tenga un día así, ¿verdad? Que sea medio bueno, medio malo. So you can say, you can use this phrase. How was your day? It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. No estuvo grandioso, pero tampoco estuvo tan mal. So any other word? Not yet, not yet. No, okay. Excellent then. Two volunteers to practice this conversation. Two volunteer, please. Maybe. Thank you. Any other? Then I'm going to choose someone and I'm going to choose uh, Roxana, please. Roxana, can you help me? Hello, Roxana. Well, she isn't there. It seems she isn't there. So, to volunteer to practice in this conversation, I have one. Any other students want to participate tonight? For me, for nobody. Um, okay. Um, okay, tell me your name, please. Who wants to participate? I can see who's speaking. Well, let's choose someone then. Uh, Janet, can you help me, please? Janet and, and Carla, please help me with this conversation. How was the test? It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah, what, what was your star? Let's just say it, it wasn't great, but it wasn't be, but either. Thank you, you did a great job. Now, do you remember how was your score of the pies? Did you take the pies? Yes. Yes, yes. How, yes. Was, how was the test? In, ¿cómo se dice en aquel tiempo? <laughs> Hace años atrás. <laughs> Sometimes I go. Sometimes I go. Very, very ago. <laughs> long, it long was, time ago. It was it was hard. It was hard. Okay. How was yes. your score? How was your score? Mm, it was eight. Eight. Ah, oh, that is a nice eight. score. Eight. Congratulations. I was a good student. 
I can see, I can see. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lisette, do you remember how was the pies for you? Lisette, do you remember your score? She didn't remember me. She doesn't want to talk about that. No quiere acordarse, probably. So I have a chat here. Uh, I cannot listen to you very well, teacher. Sorry. Uh, okay, Roxana, the rest of the student, can you listen to me without any problem? Yes, teacher. No, yeah. no problem. Ah, okay, okay, thanks. Then let's go with the last conversation. Thank you very much. Let's see, this is the last one, and this is a little bit difficult. Do you know who was at the party? Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so was Sue. Wharton and Katie there? No, they weren't there, but their song was, oh, I see. So was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. So what is this conversation about? About the party. Oh, it is about a party, yes. And the people who attend to the party. They are talking about the people who attend to the party. Jason and, says, and so Jason and went Sue. to the party. Yes, they went to the party, Jason and Sue. And the man asked, were Tom and Katie there? Estaba Tom y Katy ahí? And the woman answered, no, they weren't there. But their son was. No, ellos no estaban. Pero su hijo sí. Yes, thank you. Oh, I see. So was it fun? Was it fun? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a fun evening. Do you have any question about the vocabulary there? Or a phrase that you don't understand or you don't know? No. No. no, teacher. No, okay. Okay, so this is the question. Do you know who was at the party? Sabes quién estuvo en la fiesta? Jason was there, so was Sue. Jason estuvo ahí y Susan también. Were they in Katie there? No, they weren't. They weren't there, but their son was. So, no more questions about that conversation. Let's solve the next exercise then. Let's see the next one. Here you are going to read some question and you have to find the answer at this part. In the numbers, you are going to read the question and in the letter, you are going to find the answer. So you have to match them. The question with the answer. So number one, were you at home yesterday? What is the correct answer? No, the answer is that he, no, I wasn't, I was at a concert. Okay, you say D. D, yeah. Okay, one D. Okay, were you at home yesterday? No, I wasn't, I was at a concert. Thanks. Number two, was Ryan in class yesterday? Letter E. No, he wasn't. He was sick. Letter E. No, he wasn't. He was sick. Okay, perfect. The next one. Letter A. Number A. What is number A? Was the concert good? You say letter A? No, yeah. it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Okay. Number four, was the movie interesting? The answer is letter C. Letter C. Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Thank you. And the last one, was Susan at the library yesterday? Letter B, yes, she was. 
we were both there. Ok, yes, she was. We were both there. Sí, ella estuvo. Estuvimos ambos ahí. Uh, vocabulary, new vocabulary in this part. So here are the answers. Where are they? Here are the answer. One D, two E, three A, four C, and five B. So I need two volunteers. Two volunteers, please have this part. Me, Mateo. Okay, Mateo and me. Thank you. So Mateo, read the question and then you are going to read the answer. You can start. Were you at home yesterday? Um no oh, perdón. Yesterday. No, I was I wasn't I was at concert. Was Ryan in class yesterday? No, he wasn't uh, he was sick. Was the concert good? Um, um uh, the concert vamos en la trepa eh, no he it no it wasn't the music was was pretty bad was the movie interesting yes i it yes it was mad mad De, demon it's a great actor was susan a delivery yesterday Yes, she was. We we were both, but there. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. Thank you very much. So, how do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce this? Library. 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 Thank you. How do you pronounce this phrase? We, we were both there. We were both there. Both. Both. We were both there. We were both there. Yes. Okay. Yes. We were both there. And then how do you pronounce this phrase? The music was... Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay, thanks. Two volunteers, uh, two volunteers, please. Yes, two. I am two a volunteer. Thank you, Carlos and? Me, volunteer. Thank you. So, Carlos, you are going to read the question and then you are going to read the answer, please. You can start. Okay. Number one, were you at help yesterday? No, I wasn't. I was at a concert. Was Ryan in class yesterday? No, he wasn't. He was sick. Was the concert good? No, it wasn't. The music was pretty bad. Was the movie interesting? Yes, it was. Matt Damon is a great actor. Was Susan at the library yesterday? Yes, she was. We were both there. Thank you. You did a great job. Thank you very much for the ones who participate. So do you have any question about today's topic? Questions? No, no question. No question. Okay, just a second then. Janet, do you have a question? No, teacher. Ah, okay. I could see your hand up again. Okay. So we are going to practice in the small groups and we're going to discuss yes, no question. So let's see, for example, was you at home yesterday? Oh, sorry, where were you at home? Where were you at home yesterday? Estuvo usted en casa? Yes, 
I was. Yes, yes, I was. Where did I home yesterday? So let's see. Where are you at the park last weekend? Were you at the park last weekend? No, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And let's see. Were you at the cinema? At the cinema? Were you at the cinema last month? Estuvo en el cine el mes pasado? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Were you at the supermarket uh, yesterday? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Were you with your parents last weekend? Yes, yes I, was. I was. Yes, I was. Okay, then you are going to practice with your classmate in the small group this question. I will give you two minutes for you to copy this information. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, you are. So let's divide the class then in a small group. Do you have the five question? Were you at home yesterday? Were you at the park last weekend? Were you at the cinema last month? Were you at the supermarket yesterday? Yesterday? Were you with your parents last weekend? Were you with your parents last weekend? So you are going to ask this question to your classmate and they are going to answer. Of course, you can add more questions, right? Por supuesto, pueden agregar más preguntas. Okay, let's divide this. We are nine today, so I'm going to... Okay, you are going to have five minutes to complete this activity. So, question, do you have any question? Any question. Okay, thank you. So, see you in five minutes here. Si Omara le llegó la invitación para cambiarse a las salas. Si Omara Yamilet. Hello, Xiomara. Good evening. Do you have any problem? Xiomara Yamilet. Hello. Tiene algún problema para entrar a la sala?
teacher last weekend? Re repeat. Were you at church last weekend? Church. Sure. Iglesia? Ah, yes, yes I was. Yes I was, okay. Uh, were you at um, supermarket yesterday? No, I wasn't. Okay. Were you at the gym last weekend? No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, al otro. Were you at class yesterday? Were you at Were you at class yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Okay. And where are you at um, restaurant last weekend? No, oh, yes, I was. Yes, I, yes was. I was. Okay. Where you at, at the, no sé si era así. Where you at the beach last weekend? Um, no, I wasn't. ¿Verdad? Where you, where you go to, to the shop last month? Mm. Mm, last month. No, the last month I wasn't, but I went to shop, to shopping. Uh, last weekend. <laughs> oh, really? Very good. Yes. What did you buy? I bought um, two shirt, t shirts, and um, a pants. Oh. A jogger. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. And one jogger. Do you, do you have the new? Outfit. <laughs> yes. Yes, I. I. Yes, I. ¿Cómo se diría? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, where, where you. <clears throat> uh -huh. Where you at the mall? The mall at no no were you at the mall um yesterday? No, I wasn't to the mall yesterday, but I went to the mall the last weekend. Oh, you went to the to shopping to. Yeah, but I I need the for the present for the something special. Oh. <laughs> you are doing a great job. Continue practicing. See you in a minute.
Hello, hello. Welcome to the class again. How was your practice? How was your practice? Was it great? Was it bad? Was it boring? It was great. It was great. Excellent. It was great. It was great. Okay, thank you. Very great. Very, it was very, 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 well. very ah, well. it was very well. Excellent. So where were you last weekend? Where were you last weekend? So you say I was at, where were you last weekend? Hello. I was at all last weekend. Okay, excellent. I was at the mall. Carla, where were you last weekend? I was at the supermarket. Okay, excellent. And what did you buy? No, nah, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> I, where... bu I bought. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, were you at the church? Were you at the church last weekend? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh, Carlos, were I, you? I was on Sunday. Ah, on Sunday. Okay, I was at the church on Sunday. Excellent. Carlos, were you at the church on the weekend? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay. Were you at a party last month? Mm -hmm. mm. Last month? No, I wasn't. I went to oh. a party in this month. Ah, oh, this month. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when exactly? The last weekend? The last weekend. Ah, okay, Saturday. I was at a party the last weekend or the last Saturday. Okay, excellent. Uh, do you have any question about today's class? No, questions? No Not questions? Sure. Okay, perfect then. So just remind you about the platform exercises and evaluation, please. Uh, tomorrow is Friday, then Saturday and Sunday we're going to see us until next Monday. Nos vemos hasta el próximo lunes, ¿verdad? So tomorrow you can practice at the platform. Puede practicar en la plataforma y resolver los ejercicios que le hagan falta, ¿verdad? Mm, so, si no hay más preguntas o comentarios, we are going to stop the class here. Thank you very much for your participation, for your attention, for your punctuality. Thank you. So see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy. Bye, teacher. Me too. Thank Good you. Night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good, Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.